Lorenz along with Michelle Benash on Travel Michigan. And Michelle, where are we headed to next? We're headed to Auburn Hills and we're talking with Adam Schneider, the Palace Sports and Entertainment Senior Vice President of Events and Booking. And Adam, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. So we are going to be talking about some of the great things happening at the Palace Sports and Entertainment, the, all of that. Um, but let's start with one that is happening um, soon, uh, which would be the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Yes, we are thrilled to be hosting that here at the Palace on March 21st and March 23rd. Um, as you probably know, with these events, you know, it's kind of... We're all waiting with bated breath to find out mm-hmm. what the draw is going to be. Mm-hmm. We'll find that out on the 17th of this month. Mm-hmm. We have four games on the Thursday, uh, two games on the Saturday. There's an open practice on the Wednesday before that's free to the public. There's free parking here. We encourage people to come out to that. Um, we uh, are selling tickets now. Um, you know, most people buy tickets uh, package for you know all the games. Yeah. There are individual uh, game tickets available as well. You know, as you guys probably know, it's a, it's a really incredible you know environment and and fan experience. So, um, getting tickets sooner than later is probably a good thing. And then uh, again, on the seventeenth, we'll find out. You know, depending on how the standings are. Um, which teams are playing here. Yeah, I think I was at uh, the Michigan State uh, Championship year at the Palace, and it was a phenomenal venue for such an exciting event. Um, really highly recommend people consider going this year. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really excited to be hosting it, and, uh, you know, it doesn't come around every year, so, yeah. uh, you know, the logistics around that, you know, working with Oakland University and the NCAA, I mean, it is a, it's a mammoth, uh, you know, production uh, to pull something like this together and, uh, you know, very focused on delivering, you know, an incredible fan experience, so people will not come around, come, come, come away disappointed, as, a, as you just pointed out with your, uh, with your experience, and, well, and go Michigan. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, uh, Palace, the Palace really is a, a phenomenal venue. Can you tell people a little bit about the the location itself and, and why it's so special? Yeah, well, you know, the Palace, this is going to be our 25th anniversary um, as a venue, and uh, so we're very excited about that. And just, you know, a little inside, you know, arena talk, I would say, is that, you know, the Palace, when it was built in 1988, was essentially kind of the first modern arena, if you will. So yeah. the way that the, the venue is built from the the loading docks to the various suite spaces we have to how the arena is configured is to this day uh, state of the art. It's kind of the, the model for the modern arenas that are around the country. So Palace and within the within the touring industry, whether it be for basketball or the circus or concerts, is known as a very unique and special facility. Um, you know, one of the benefits of being here in, in Auburn Hills is that you know it's a very convenient place to to get to off on Lapeer Road, and we have you know such ample parking, uh, incredible concessions, restaurants in the facility. It's really a place that you can come you know come early and stay late essentially for any event that 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 we have here, and that's sort of something that we we do with all of our venues, the other two being Meadowbrook and and DTE, where we're very focused not only on having a great, you know, experience for for the artists or the production that comes in there, but for the for the customer as well. So being able to come early and hang out on the lawn at DTE or at Meadowbrook or be able to go into one of our one of our club spaces here at the Palace is something that we really encourage our patrons to take advantage of. Well, you know, the Palace is the the home for the Detroit Pistons. They have certainly um, made the season more interesting this year than than the last few years. Uh, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen with them in the next few years? But uh, it's it's a good year still to to get some tickets and watch a Pistons game. Yeah, no, we definitely have um, we have we have some more a couple more games on the uh, on the schedule here. You know, we've got a game. Um, against uh, the Timberwolves on uh, March 26th, uh, against Toronto on the 29th. And again, you know, we're, um, we're very focused on that fan experience. We're, we have the best halftime entertainment in the NBA. Uh, it's a great family environment for people to come out here and check out what's going on, you know, on the court, obviously, with the players. Very exciting young team, still rebuilding, and then for 
we have just an, incre- an incredible, you know, dance squad, halftime entertainment, things to do that really make it a full entertainment experience. I think in today's day and age, um, with basketball, you know, in particular, you know, in order to come to an event and make it special, as opposed to something that you would just watch on TV, we deliver a lot of things in the arena that um, simply can't be replicated in your living room. So we, yeah, we encourage people to come out and check it out. Yeah, lots of fun. Absolutely. And you guys don't just do sports. I mean, I'm looking at the schedule and you bring in an ice rink for this Disney and Ice Presents Dare to Dream, and you've got some great concerts coming up as well. Yes, we um, Palace Sports Entertainment. We you know the same company that owns the Detroit uh, Pistons. We also you know own and operate the arena here at Auburn Hills and the DT Amphitheater and Meadowbrook. Um, we're very excited about uh, our Disney our Disney show coming up in March. Um, March fourteenth is the first day of that, and then. Um, would be remiss if I did not share how excited we are to be hosting two Bob Seger concerts yeah. coming up. I saw that. I love that. On April 11th and April 13th. Um, so there hopefully will be some tickets available to that to still purchase. I mean, Seeger is just an institution here, and we are thrilled to death to be hosting these two shows here um, well, in April. If you look at you know, your various venues that you have to offer, you know, the Palace, Meadowbrook uh, Music Festival, and DTE Energy Music Theater, you have so many great uh, performances coming up uh, yet this spring and into the summer. Yeah. I, I would, you know, it's funny. Um, it, it feels like, you know, once the springtime comes... People want to be outside in Michigan, and both DT and Meadowbrook. Um, you know, we we have only announced a few of our uh, shows that are coming up at uh, at those facilities. I mean, for example, at Meadowbrook, we have Fun, who big Grammy winner, is playing July 16th at Meadowbrook. Um, uh, Monsters and Men, another act playing there. And over at um, at DT, we, we are on sale with uh, Tim McGraw and. Uh, Bad Company and Leonard Skinner. But what I would say is, um, you know, we will have between those two venues probably 80 concerts over the summer. And the best way to follow and track that is to go to palacenet.com and just see the calendar because the, these events come fast and furious. Mm-hmm. The biggest shows of the year of the summer come through here in those venues. And this is shaping up to be just a tremendous, a tremendous summer. There's opportunities for uh, for the real hardcore music fans to c- join our royalty program, which essentially guarantees you a ticket to every one of these DTE events or Meadowbrook event, depending on what you join, as well as other amenities and perks like parking and special club access. Um, but there'd be too many shows to go over in one yeah. in one phone call with you. Uh, but I encourage everyone to just keep tracking on palsnet.com because yeah. the shows are going to be just tremendous. Are there ver- various prices for the for the club? Yeah, I mean the well the the the, the there are, there's definitely the tiers of pricing mm-hmm. for the royalty member. I think again, it's a very detailed program. There's different tiers depending on your seat location and various other activation things. The the best place to check that out would be our website, um, palacenet.com, and to search for our premium ticket programs, just like a season ticket holder for the Pistons, you could have a similar product for our amphitheaters. What a great opportunity. You know, groups like Dave Matthews and, you know, Blake Shelton, Keith Urban, Rod Stewart, uh, those tickets are going to go fast. So if you're in the royalty program, that's a, that's a great opportunity. Yeah, I think that's, a, that's one of the reasons why people why people do sign up. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, DT is a, um, it's not quite as big as the Palace. It's an intimate, intimate amphitheater. So having a season ticket there guarantees you a, a great seat to all of those shows. Very good. Adam, thank you so much for filling us in on both the NCAA men's basketball tournament and all those spring events at the Palace and the other venues. Uh, Tremendous. Adam Schneider, Palace Sports and Entertainment, Senior VP of Events and Booking. And for more information, all you have to do is go to palacenet. Dot com. Lots of events happening uh, around the area, Michelle. Absolutely, and and we've mentioned earlier in the show that St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So some of the other St. Patrick's Day events um, are you can celebrate in historic downtown Grand Ledge, March 15th through 16th, with Irish dancing and a grand parade, or run to the Leapin' Leprechaun 5K March 16th in Traverse City, and they really encourage you to dress the part for the occasion. <laughs> and you can also celebrate St. Patrick's Day with a train ride to Mount Pleasant Soaring Eagle Cons- Casino on March 16th. Uh, it departs from the Steam Railroad Institute, and you can test the luck of the Irish while you're at the casino. Um, some other great shows to visit this week. Get ready for the camping season at the Flint Camper and RV Show March 14th through 17th at Praney Ar- Arena event center um 
and they are going to have more than 90 units on display. And the Lansing Home and Garden Show hits the MSU Pavilion March 14th through 17th. Um, and be sure to get something sweet. Stop by the Maple Syrup Day at Chippewa Nature Center in Midland, March 16th. And so you can find all of this, so much more, at Michigan.org. Thank you very much, Michelle. And next, we'll get to answer that question. When you have a girlfriend's weekend downtown, who do you get more of, women or men? You just kind of wonder about that. We'll find out next right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at Michigan.org.